Hey everybody, it's Scott Cooks. I'm outdoors tonight on our Blackstone Culinary. And this is like a leftover pantry quick stir fry deal. I had a bunch of ham in the freezer from when I cooked a big ham a while back. Cut it up. I had a bag of mixed vegetables. They are frozen. Tossed them on the, on the Blackstone here. And over here, I've got a big old bowl of rice that I made last night. That is jasmine rice. We're going to throw that in. And then, after I get the rice in, we're going to put a bunch of this ginger fig teriyaki sauce on top and stir fry the heck out of it. And it is going to be some kind of good. And here come my buddies up here. See the deers running? <laughs> There's deer everywhere here. Where I'm, I'm outdoor camping right now. And there are deer everywhere. Give this a quick flip and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm, mm. Now the ham's pretty much cooked. Um, so we're really just heating it here. The veggies were frozen in the bag. And they're quickly, quickly becoming unfrozen. The rice goes in last because I don't want to burn that up. And then the sauce. And this is going to be some kind of good. And this is just going to be a quick, uh, we're going to call it a short, a YouTube short for a leftover stir fry. Got some of this rice going down here. Not sure if I really want it all or not. There's an awful lot of rice. Let's break it up first and then I can just pour it out. Yeah, I'm doing this one handed. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how much rice we want. Get the right rice to ham ratio. Well, let her go. Right? What the heck? We went this far with it. I usually just cook jasmine rice, my favorite rice. Every once in a while, I'll do a long grain. I normally don't do brown rice. And uh, I can see right now that a lot of this is absorbing some of the oil I put in it. I am using some uh, some extra virgin here tonight. And so what I did is I just made a little hole in the middle. And that'll spread out for me. And we're going to stir fry this up real quick and then get the sauce on. And I feel like one of them teppiyaki Teppanyaki chefs, you know, the ones that throw the uh, shrimp up in the air and lands in their hat. Am I saying that right? Let me know in the comments. Teppanyaki? I know that the yaki part probably, right? I think it's time to get a little sauce on here. Let's do it. I've been having a lot of fun with this sauce. Check out my videos, my channel. I've been using it on a lot of stuff. Now this sauce needs to be refrigerated after you use it, so it's pretty thick. Mm. Hear that extra sizzle. Little bug just went flying by, did you see him? He said, oh, too hot in here for me. I'm going to keep on moving. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, we are cooking now. Almost done. Oh, my God, that smells so good. Just imagine your favorite teriyaki sauce and then add a little fig and some onions in with it and a little ginger. Awesome. Give it there, lima bean. Let's close the lid on that bad boy. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty fast stir fry out on the Blackstone griddle. I had some ham in the freezer. I had some frozen bag style vegetables, mixed vegetables. I had some of that amazing teriyaki fig ginger sauce and a little olive oil and some leftover jasmine rice. And this just looks amazing. Let's take a bite. See how much of it I'm gonna drop, right? There went part of it. Mmm. Mmm. So good, guys. So good. 
Blackstone griddle for the win. Quick and easy. That whole deal thing probably took me 10, 15 minutes tops. Absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Leave me some likes. Click, you know, that thumbs up thing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys are doing with your Blackstone griddles. And we'll see you soon on the next video.